Hi guys, it's me again. It's Sabrina here. So this video session is going to talk about FTP and how you could create FTP and how you use FTP for backup. So before moving on creating uh, FTP, make sure you have the roles and features. So let's add roles and features. Next. Next and next. Scroll down, select web server IS, expand this, and you have to manually check FTP server because this doesn't check it automatically. And you move on next all the way. Currently, I already have it installed and added, so let's open it. Expand this part, select sites, select add FTP site. So I call this FTP site. I will call it FTP new site. Next, you have to select your path for this content. Leave the binding as default. I will select uh, no SSL. It's depending on your application and your appliance whether do they require SSL. And you have to select a basic authentication. Currently, I will allow all user to authorize themselves for this FTP site. You could change it, it's up to your environment requirements. You expand this, select of this, right click. At a virtual directory, you need a virtual directory. If you don't have a virtual directory, your appliance or your application won't able to detect to detect your FTP path for it to perform the backup. And you have to create a credential. So we need administrator. You have to test your settings. So currently all of these settings has passed the test. Close, select, okay. So now you have your virtual directory. So all, so that's how you create your FTP for backup. Do you have any questions or any comments? Do leave it below. And if you like this video session, just give me a thumbs up. Okay, that's all for today and goodbye.